Autodesk Research and DAR scoped out the Autodesk Technology Center for the final five meter bridge build because of our robust robotic capabilities. DAR came to us with this vision of what if a robot could simply arrive at a river and just print its way across. With its research division, Autodesk provided DAR with new capabilities in terms of software, hardware, and human expertise, while DAR provided the technical support and dimension to the project. The two technologies, 3D printing and generative design, have been around for a while now. But what we're trying to do with projects like this is, is really bring them to the construction site. Because this hasn't been done before, there's a level of unpredictability in it. So we have to be very nimble and be able to adjust for various kinds of issues that come up as we're fabricating. Since the last bridge we printed, we've tried to reduce the time taken to print a layer. Printing at an angle enabled us to print the way that it would be printed if it was in situ, which allows faster production times, reduces the need for us to transport the part to the construction site, saving on those transportation costs. With this project, we're trying to prove that we can use recycled materials for printing structural elements like bridges. And if we can use them for advanced applications like that, then what else can we use them for? One thing that people commonly notice about the DAR bridge, it's the way the design mimics nature, and it looks like a bone structure. The organic shapes of generative design are often compared to nature. They are an evolution of shapes. We've taken that a step further with this project with the infill, which also in some ways mimics the structure of bone. And in fact, it's the infill that's used in medical implants. It provides relatively similar strength in all directions, whilst also being very printable very quickly. We would like to continue pushing boundaries in digital fabrication processes for infrastructure and for construction, so we better understand how to make these additive processes more structurally sufficient for being in the world around us. We are proceeding further in the research and implementation of these technologies in real life projects in the Middle East, where we are applying new concepts and new techniques in 3D printing. The important thing with this project is not that we're 3D printing bridges from polymers, it's that we're proving out workflows for 3D printing on a large scale, and that can apply to a broad range of industries and a broad range of materials. The steps forward that we make for any of these technologies is a step forward for all of them.